so let's switch gears here and talk about uh, uh, Atul Gawande's new role, JPM, Amazon, Berkshire Health. Um, great hire for a position, tons of potential. Uh, the entity is going to cover 1.2 million employees that we've talked about. The potential impact is far beyond those 1.2 million employees because it's going to be closely mo looked at, potentially modeled as we go forward. So uh, let's break this down in two areas. One is quick wins. One is long-term ways of thinking about it. Or if you were his exponential technology consultant, uh, what technology should he be thinking about and looking at today to provide quick wins in the area of that, that 1.2 million uh, uh, population that he's been tasked with improving their health or keeping them healthy? Well, part of the question, what do you count as a win, right? Uh, in traditional uh, metrics, it may be saving lives or hospitalizations or dollars. So, and one of the challenges with many insurance or payers is they don't have folks for more than a couple of years sometimes. So why are they incentivized to help prevent uh, diabetes from developing, et cetera? So part of what I think is interesting about this new conglomerate, and I don't have any insider information, is that they can start to align certain incentives. I mean, they can hopefully knock out the middleman, the PBM. They can use the engine of Amazon to do just-in-time same-day delivery. Amazon just bought PillPack, for example. Uh, so getting just-in-time meds and sort of some of the mechanics of now that have been worked out from the consumer angle can come to some elements of, of healthcare delivery when it makes sense, particularly uh, bringing things to the home environment. Um, everything from the, from the, from the Amazon Alexa, help, I fall and I can't get up, or Alexa, make my doctor's appointment can be done in that system, uh, obviously others. Um, so part of it I, get th I think is interesting is they can start to align incentives and redesign some of the, the, the care pathways. Some of the quick wins I think would be, how do they get an interesting pace and engagement of their mostly, hopefully healthy members, often earlier in their, in, in their, in their life realm where they can make a big difference and, and, and prevent the need later for treating cancers, depression, um, a number of other issues, uh, and get folks uh, measurably healthier on the precision wellness side. Um, I think that's, and, and, and being able to use some of the tools that let's say Amazon has learned and the Berkshire Hathaways to think about saving for dollars. The big, number one cause of bankruptcy in the US is, is, is medical. Uh, so there's some interesting, le probably other elements beyond the Amazon side, they can get folks thinking about how do they think about longevity, the, the saving elements in there as well. And then I would, on the exponential side, make sure that they're mapping out some of these technologies so that they're building a platform that can, that can grow. You're like, oh, we forgot the silo for personal genomes. That wouldn't be a good thing to, to miss. Um, to think about you know, leveraging voices they're already doing. Um, taking some of the digital breadcrumbs that Amazon is good at and, 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 and offering the right services to the right people. The idea of a digital concierge uh, for health and for therapy, I think it is all some of the potentials in there. Um, so it's going to be super interesting. And I think even though it's only a, only a million or so uh, members, it can be a proving ground for things that could expand even to a, some, of a, some folks think a national health plan uh, that other countries have as a norm. Yeah, it is. Um, I think there's a lot of potential there and I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, where they go with that. 